Hey guys, how's it going? So today I have um, a life update. I have a channel update and I have a haul video for you. The haul may be two parts because there is a lot of stuff in front of me. I've been pity shopping. Um, <laughs> so um, it may be two parts. Um, I will also leave you a time code down below if you want to skip the chit chat part um, and go straight to the haul because I know some of you just don't care and that is fine. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, so let's do channel update first. Uh, the first thing is I've been having kind of like a little, not like a crisis from my channel, but kind of like, I feel like all I do is come on here and do reviews and hauls, which is great. And I do like that. And I want to share, but you know, I'm kind of here more like for the community aspect and to like get to know you guys and whatever. Um, so I might get more chit chatty. Who knows? You may learn more about me. Um, which may be something you want, maybe something you don't, we'll see. Um, <laughs> but um, I thought about it a long time and trying to figure out if I want to change the direction of my channel and I kind of don't. I like doing reviews and I like doing hauls and I, you guys seem to really like the hauls part. <laughs> so um, I think probably I'll just continue that. I'll just maybe like infuse more of me into the channel, I guess. Um, so let me know what you think about that. Um, and so starting that out, um, <laughs> life update. So. It's been a rough day, that's why I'm here in very little makeup. I have literally like BB cream and some mascara and some lip gloss on and that's it. Because I am having a bad day. And I'm having a bad day because I, in February, um, started getting sciatica, which is a nerve in your leg. And it, the sciatica is a condition of the nerve being, the sciatic nerve being uh, stressed out and firing all the time so it makes your entire like your back and your lower butt and your whole leg down one side hurt and it can manifest differently in every single person um mine is a pretty fairly classic case um anyway i've been having it since february and it's been like basically chronic pain since then which is why i've been kind of on and off of my channel because a lot of times i just come home and i just want to like lay down <laughs> Um, I've tried a bunch of different things, different kinds of anti-inflammatories and steroids and stuff like that, and I just had a steroid injection, epidurally injected. Everyone was like, woohoo, epidural, and I'm like, no, 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 no. When you have a baby and you get an epidural, that's delivering pain medicine. <laughs> this thing that I'm having is not delivering pain medicine, it's delivering anti-inflammatory, so it actually kind of makes you hurt worse for a while. Um, but I'm on day five of after that, and I'm still kind of in pain, so... Um, I'm having a bad day right now because I am feeling like it should feel a lot, lot, lot better by now and I was really hoping that this was going to work and like be the answer because if it's not, it's like another epidural which sucks. I mean, they're sticking a needle in your spine, guys. It's no joke, right? Um, and it is a surgical operation um, or surgical procedure, not an operation. Um, but the next steps are kind of surgery um, and I might try some like non-conventional medicine stuff first, you know, like chiropractic care and stuff like that just to see what I can do before I have to get to surgery, but the surgery is a 95% successful surgery, so it's probably the case that at some point in my life I will have to do this. I have a um, herniated disc in my L5-S1, for anyone who knows what that is. It's my lower back. Um, there's a herniated disc and it's herniated pretty badly. Um, so basically the things between your spines is there's this little padded thing with sort of jelly goo in it and that has basically popped. Um, so, um, and it happens in people all the time. You may have one right now and never know. Um, as unless it hits a nerve, you don't, you can go about your life and it's no big deal. Um, people, your spine isn't really last, like designed to last as long as we live now. So this happens from time to time for like a majority of the population. It's just mine happens to cause sciatica to happen, so anyway, that's why I've been kind of here and there on my channel and sometimes showing up and sometimes not, and it's largely because I'm in a lot of pain a lot of times and I'm just trying to like chill and ice it and keep it mellow, so um, I got, I'm, not, I'm never going to apologize for not posting because like it's my channel. I'll do what I want. Um, <laughs> but uh, when I'm sporadically here and there, it's probably because of that. And I don't really want to be like, I would really love to deep dive in the channel and like be here all the time and several times a week and stuff. And I'm going to try to do better. Um, uh, and hopefully as we get more and more close to a solution for this problem, I'll be able to do that. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, 
Anyway, I'm going to film the next few videos in very little makeup. I hope you guys can deal with that. And it might be that I do that often from now on because, like, one of the things about my channel is I realized I don't want to spend an hour putting on my makeup just to film a video. Like, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to film, like, nine videos, but I don't always have time for that. So sometimes it might be slapping on makeup just so I can get something out because I'd rather film than not film, right? And it, and me putting on eyelashes for 20 minutes shouldn't be a dictator on whether or not I'm going to film. So <laughs> that was that blah, 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 blah. Um, let me know if you have any commentary about that down below. Hopefully your commentary is happy. If it's not happy, maybe don't leave it below. I'm in that kind of mood. <laughs> All right, so I have like a ridiculous amount of stuff in front of me. So let's get started with this haul. Um, I also have no idea how long this video is going to be. We'll see. Um, yeah, let me start out with literally, literally, literally months ago. Um, a friend of mine, Cindy, old broad here on YouTube, I will link her channel down below, sent me a box. And I didn't open it for like four months um, after she sent it to me uh, because I wanted to do it on camera. So I just opened it. I have a little note here from her, which I'm not going to read to you guys. Cindy, I got your note. All my love to you and thank you so much for the beautiful stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you what she sent me um, so that we make sure we do do an unboxing. Um, so I got a julep nail polish here in Deanne, which is lovely, and I love this shade. It's perfect for me, so I'm pretty pumped on this guy. Um, I got a Tarte uh, blush here, and this is the color Sweet. Um, it looks like this guy. Trying out new lighting conditions also, guys, so let me know what you think about this. I'm trying to get my lights to not be so yellow. Ooh, there's more stuff in here. Another julep lip, or I'm sorry, julep nail polish, not julep lipstick. Um, and this one is in Bonnie, which is the bombshell flavor. Flavor. <sighs> you guys, I obviously haven't filmed in a while. It's beautiful. It's this like peachy metallic uh, color, which is just lovely. Um, a sugar pill. Uh, what is this called? Not glitter. Pigment. Pigment in absinthe, which is this beautiful green color. Um, hopefully I'll get a shot of that. And lastly, but certainly not least, uh, uh, this is a Chanel product, and it is the Powder Blush in Winter Shimmer. Oh, Cindy. You should not have... Can I open this? Is this possible for Noel to open? I'm really bad with packaging, guys. Yeah. Okay, this is lovely, beautiful, like, pearlescent pink. This might actually even, like, be a highlighter on me. Let me just do a little swatch. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's, like, super light. Um, it'll, it would make a great, like, sort of glittery blush topper or maybe highlight. So I'll give that a good home. Thank you so much, my dear. You are lovely. Um, and I'll send you an email about this. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to go through some big stuff uh, first, so yeah. Uh, there was a deal of the day on Amazon right before Amazon Prime Day, which was really weird, for the Lumi case for your phone. Do you guys know what this is? Maybe, maybe not. All right, so it's a cell phone case that has lights in it, and it's rose gold on the back, although it's this weird, like, it feels like it's been painted. It's kind of cheap. Um, does this work? Nope, gotta plug it in. Anyway, it has lights down the side of this, so when you use it, it lights up your face like a ring light. I'm having a hard time today, guys. Can you tell with the, the speaking? Hmm. Uh, so it makes like basically a ring light effect for your phone, so you carry an extra light. It um, has a separate charger, so you charge it separately, um, which is great because then you don't have it doesn't drain your battery on your phone, which is lovely. Um, I think this is normally about fifty bucks, and I think I paid about thirty for it. Um, I saw a bunch of people at Fame using it, and it looked really awesome, and it looks really great for like when you're in dark light or whatever, and you want to take a selfie, or you want to even just photograph something else because you can, you know, photograph that way. So. Um, yeah, looks great. I'm super pumped on this guy. Okay, moving on. Hmm. Sigma had a 30% off. I don't know if you guys know what this is, but it is the complete light kit. 
from Sigma. I did go in here and take all the wrappers off because who wants to sit here while I do that for you? So it comes in this lovely case that looks like this. I did get the copper brushes. Um, you can get silver or copper. I don't know why I chose copper, but I did. Um, anyway, it contains a significant amount of Sigma brushes. And there are two pages of them, both synthetic and non-synthetic brushes. Um, I'm pretty pumped on this, guys. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I feel weird because like I'm like, hot oh, is the best, and then I'm like, ooh, but I'll take that whole Sigma thing. Cool. Um, what else should I go through really quick? Okay, Anastasia Beverly Hills. They have their thing where they did the glow kit in Sweets and in Moonchild. I did order both of them. I'm not going to pull these out for you because they arrived and they were both shattered. Like I think two of them in here are shattered and one is shattered in here. So I did um, email them to ask what I should do about that and how I can go about getting a replacement or whatever. I mean I guess I can alcohol it back together if I have to but I'd rather have a nice one. So they're shipping. The box looked like crap. Every, like it was mangled and also these things were just sort of like floating around in there. There was a, like a good amount of bubble wrap but like not around each one individually. They were just floating around in there knocking into each other. So I think their shipping needs something, you know, leaves something to be desired and unfortunately that sucks because it means I probably won't order straight from Anastasia Beverly Hills ever again because if it's like um, a highlighter because I don't want to risk getting a highlighter that shattered. I've never gotten a highlighter shattered from Sephora. I know people have, so I'm not saying that Sephora's the end all be all, but they do package the hell out of their products, so. Um, I did go to Target. They still have these at Target if you guys want them. And I got two of these cups. Um, they don't have handles or anything. They're designed to hold, just hold stuff. Like, they're not actually drinking. I mean, I guess you could totally use them as drinking cups, but um, I got them to hold brushes because I thought they were super cute and um, funnily they really remind me of Sarah from Not Your Typical Ball Face here. I will link her channel down below also. I also got this Noble Supply Blackwood Cedar candle at Target. Nobody cares about candles, but thought I would mention it anyway. Um, what else? Okay. I'm trying to figure out if I should go to the next video. I'm going to do one more set of things, which are all these metallic li li liquid lipsticks. And I'm going to do swatch videos about each of these, I think. So I did a ColourPop haul. I did get their four metallics, which are in Zebra, Maneater, uh, Queen, K-W-E-E-N, and this one's in Three Way. Um, they are beautiful. They have um, a really nice formula. They swatch really weird, guys. They swatch like super patchy, but when you put them on your lips, for some reason they don't do that. Um, they are super metallic. They don't dry all the way down, so they, they do transfer, so you gotta watch out for that. But they're super comfortable, and I would say like there's some reviews out about them because of how weird they swatch, and I swatched them and I was like, that's weird. I would actually like give them a try anyway because I don't feel like the way that they apply on your lips is the same way they apply on your hands. Usually that happens with eyeshadows but it happens the other way around like the eyeshadow formula is looks great on your hand and then you put it on your eye and you're like what the hell happened? This is kind of the backwards of that which is honestly the way I would want it. <laughs> it's not just horrible on my hand but when I put it on my lips I'm super pumped. So I also got four I think of the Milani ones, um, the Amore the More Metallics um, lip cream from from Milani. They look like this. Um, these are also drugstore super cheap price. You can get these um, uh, at like Walgreens, I think, or CVS. Um, I have Dramatic Diva in number five, Matte About You number three, um, Automatic Touch number seven, and Madeline in Love. Um, number six. Um, they're, I guess they're supposed to be matte metallics, so they're matte metallics. I don't feel like they're, they feel super matte, but, and they're also the same kind of thing where they don't dry all the way down, but they're pretty good. They last a very long time. I did get through eating with these on, um, and definitely needed to reapply, but not, they didn't wear disgusting or anything, and I didn't get, like, <laughs> as Jacqueline Hill calls, butthole mouth, um, from these, uh, and I did really like the finish on them. They were, it was beautiful. And lastly, and in a similar vein, I got these guys from Wet n Wild, which are even cheaper! Um, these are metallic liquid lipsticks as well. Um, 
and I got these in uh, Indigo Your Own Way. Um, Chrysanthemum's The Word. Um, Days of Fuchsia, Fuchsia Present. Oh my god, how cute. These don't focus, I'm mostly just trying to give you the color, which doesn't really matter for the focus, just so you know. Peony Express. And Coming Up Roses. And I've tried a few of these out too. Um, this Peony Express I tried on. Um, I actually really liked that one. Um, I liked that color better than the coral version. The coral version in the Milani one is really, really, really coral. It the one that is Matt about you, this one. This one looks weird on me, so I'm probably going to give it away to a friend, but it's really comfortable. Um, this one is like a, a more of a pinky coral, and it looks a lot better on me. Um, this formula is also great. Like, I think they're all about the same, and honestly, I would buy any one of these again. Like, I think they're great formulas. Um, again, they do not, they're not transfer proof, so don't expect that. They are delightfully metallic. They look really good. Um, they're not super matte, they, they're not drying, they're very comfortable, that sort of thing, so. Um, while I'm here on ColourPop, I did get, uh, a Super Shock Shadow in Liberty, which is this crazy silver color, and I got a Gel Cream Liner in also a silver crazy color, this is called Kicker. It is the same kind of crazy silver, and the Kicker, um, eyeliner uh, what is this called gel liner sorry um, it's in the same silver color uh, I was apparently on a silver thing when I did that I also picked up Lala super shock shadow which is kind of like a coppery gold color um, I they were all just on the metallics page and I was like sure five bucks absolutely let's do it yes Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here, and then I'm going to start the next one so that we can do the second part of this haul. I might actually upload these on the same day, or I will absolutely upload them on consecutive days so you guys can have them back to back. Um, anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have commentary on the channel or what you'd like to see here, what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of, please do let me know. Um, just so you know, I'm never going to be the person who does like demos of how I do my eyeshadow and stuff, because that's... You can find better people than me to do that. So, <laughs> the things I like to do are recent hauls. So hopefully you guys like that too. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you for suffering through my life update with me. Um, I just wanted to like, I don't know, give you guys a little bit of background why I'm here and there and whatever. And um, I guess I will see you guys next time. And I hope you're having a great day. And please subscribe if you haven't. Bye guys!